for the seven constitutional offices. The last part of our program this morning, or this evening, is to give you an opportunity to hear the candidates for Secretary of State, engage in a debate, and the same with Lieutenant Governor, and also with Governor. And to explain the debate process and to introduce the debate moderators, please welcome Boy State Director of Staff Development, Lenny Benjamin. Candidates for Secretary of State will debate first, followed by the candidates for Lieutenant Governor, and then the candidates for Governor. 17 topics were selected by a committee of your fellow nonpartisan delegates, shared with the party counselors, and provided to delegates and potential candidates. From the 17 topics, 12, of the 12 questions were developed. Again, by your peer delegates serving on that debate committee. And then 10 of the topics are current events for the state and federal level, and two of the questions are boy state specific. One of the questions for the governor was published this morning and shared with the party counselors again and the respective campaigns to give them time to research and craft a response in advance. The other nine current event questions were randomly placed into sealed envelopes and shuffled. No one, including me, knows which envelope contains which question. The two Boy State specific questions were separated out as well and sealed into envelopes, then randomly labeled Boy State 1 and Boy State 2. These questions were designated for your governor candidate. The candidate that gave his speech first tonight will pick and answer the first question first. The alternate candidate will then be given a chance to answer that same question. For each question, candidate one will have 60 seconds to answer. Candidate two will then be given 90 seconds to answer. To wrap, then candidate one will have 30 seconds to offer a rebuttal. Candidates will be tapped on the shoulder with 10 seconds remaining and will be respectfully stopped if they exceed that time limit. Secretary of State candidates will go first and choose from the nine current event questions. After that, the Lieutenant Governor will also get one question. That first Lieutenant Governor candidate will draw from the remaining envelopes, and both candidates, again, will be given the opportunity to speak. The governor candidate will get two questions. The first will be chosen from the Boy State specific topics, with the first candidate speaking first. The second question will be, pre will be the previously published question, with the second candidate speaking first. The Secretary of State and Lieutenant Governor will not get a Boy State specific question. None of the questions will be duplicated for any of the positions and not all questions will be used. So before I turn it over to your, tonight's moderators, I want to thank the debate committee who worked dil diligently over the past three days on this process. So at this time, could we quickly have those delegates and counselors who worked on this process please stand and be recognized. Joshua Morita will moderate the Secretary of State and Lieutenant Governor debate, and Noah Botolomi will be your moderator for the gubernatorial debate. Please welcome to the stage. Best of luck to all the candidates.
The topic is gun control. As of 2015, 20.1% of adults in California owned a firearm. Should there be reform to the process of purchasing firearms in California, and if so, why? Candidate Herrera, you have 60 seconds to respond. I'll tell you what, I don't have much to say about this topic. You know, gun control, that's, that's an amendment. You know, that's a, that's, a, that's a right we have. That's a second amendment. Yeah. You know, there is some, there's shootings around the, around, the, around the country, and that's not right. So what I'm, what I'm proposing, you know, is, you know, we, you know, we, we got to get back and I'm check on these guys. And you know, if they got mental illnesses, that's not selling guns, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>
how should California respond to its effects? Candidate Rivas, you have 60 seconds to respond. Okay, so as many of you may know, as of this year, California is number six in the world for GDP. Right now, now right now, our economy is stable, but it, it, it can soon all change. It, it depends on the leadership we put towards technology innovation. And the innovation is going towards uh, the restaurant and management area. It will only provide another stable form of income for our state as in addition to agriculture. Any new innovation in technology, and leadership and technology itself will help California and its economy overall. Candidate <laughs> Skinner, you now have 90 seconds to respond. <laughs> It should be in our infrastructure. It should be in our bridges. We should automate these to move people away from little services and into careers. We should give people the opportunity and the push to build and work and invest in America. Invest in ourselves. I think technology will help lead us there. But we need to remember I agree with my fellow candidate, although I, I will have to qualify. And if any advancement in technology will not take away jobs from Americans, we can only create more and to better advance uh, our culture and social lives as much as possible. We're not the one to destroy. To take away or limit any technology would be detrimental to California. We can only need more. Last thing I have to say is that any investment in, in this technology world can bring more jobs and better our lives overall. I will conclude our debates for the positions of Lieutenant Governor and Secretary of State. Now for the gubernatorial debate will be my co-moderator, Noah. Can I have the candidates for Governor Carlos Bernal and Sam Spinner come up to the front, please? Candidate Bernal, you have 60 seconds to respond. Although my opponent's theory sounds good, 
it's not very practical. Think, how many elections have we had to cram into these past three days? And now he wants to insert one more. Do we really have time for that? We have been going non-stop. We have been going non-stop since I've arrived. And adding a second vote to a party nomination just seems impractical. Instead, I propose that you combine an election based on applause with an election based by simple representation, either by raising a hand or standing up. That way, you have a quantifiable approach to your election. You can count people and you can listen to applause. This way, a compromise between two systems is achieved, and the most perfect way is possible. This way, you know how much the candidates you are voting for can rile up your party, and your, your voting process will be less subjective. Thank you. Sometimes they don't come up with the best ideas on how to do that. Monitoring our electronics 